Now let's look at a practical example in which we'll use solos to make a frame by frame animation. In this folder, I have a bunch of different SVGs that we'll use as a fire animation. We could also use PNGs too. We're going to import that sequence of SVGs into Rive, and then we'll see how we can use them with solos. The first thing that we're going to need to do is erase the fire that's already in this artboard, since we'll be replacing this with a frame by frame animation. The next thing we need to do is import our SVGs, which we can do with this plus button here. We can open up our folder, marquee select those, and then hit enter or open. Now that we have our sequence uploaded, we can also sort it by alphabetical to put our sequence in order. We can now select the whole sequence by shift clicking through all of our uh, SVGs and then dragging them and dropping them onto the artboard. Now that it's on the artboard, let's just position the flame where we want it to go in the middle. And the next thing that we need to do is get all of these SVGs into a solo. So with all of our SVGs selected, we can use the shortcut, which is Command or Control L, and that'll wrap everything into a solo. We can expand the solo if we want to make sure that all of our solos are in the correct order, which they are, and we can toggle through those so we can see how that's going to look. Now before we animate, we just need to fix our little draw order problem here, so we can move this group to the top, and there we go. Let's hop over to animate mode and start creating the animation. So if you'll remember, all you need to do to set a key is select a radial button. Now what we're going to do for this animation is go every two frames and key a solo. So we're going to do a solo and then hit period twice and then another one and then another one and repeat that process all the way through. All right, so that's the last one. Now we can go back and play the animation and check to make sure that we're happy with it. 